Hey guys, welcome to part three of building an Ember app. So far we have our tasks, uh, M tasks application where we can, we can read our tasks coming from the Firebase database. And we also have a form where we can add them. All right, so now what I wanna do is we wanna be able to edit these as well, okay? So what we can do is create uh, an edit view, I'm sorry, an edit route and an edit controller. All right, so let's go ahead and stop this. Okay, and we're gonna say Ember G route, and we're gonna say tasks slash edit. All right, and then we're also going to do Ember G uh, controller asks slash edit all right and we'll go back to ember serve okay now we should have under controllers you see we have edit um, under routes tasks we have edit but we want to go to our router okay and you can see that it did include it under tasks um, now the edit route is going to also have to have an ID. It's going to have to know the ID because it needs to know which uh, which task to edit. So what we can do is add in a second parameter here and we're going to define a path and that path is going to be slash edit slash and then we want to use a colon and then to do underscore ID underscore ID okay so this is what the URL should look like slash edit slash whatever that ID is slash uh, ID I'm sorry slash to do ID alright so and you know what let's also change this to this dot resource Okay, so we have a resource of tasks and then we have a couple routes under it. So we'll save that. And that should be all we need to do in that file. Now what I wanna do is go to the to-dos template. So under template, um, I'm sorry, task template. So click that and what we're gonna do is we have the title here, we wanna wrap it in a link. Okay, so we're gonna use the link to helper, whoops. So link to, and we want it to go to tasks.edit. Okay, and um, we need to put the end tag back here. I know it's a little confusing because there's so many uh, curly braces, but Link to, okay, now, again, we need to have an ID when we go to the edit URL or the edit route. So we're gonna just go here and specify task.id. Save that. Oh, we're getting, we're getting an error because this uh, ending link to should have a slash like that. Okay, so now we have a link on each title. If I click it, you can see where it's gonna go at the bottom there, task slash edit slash and then the ID. But nothing's gonna happen because we don't have anything in that template. Remember, since it's under tasks, uh, this stuff is also going to show. All right, um, so what we're gonna do is go to, uh, we wanna go to our templates, and then we wanna go to the edit.hps. All right, and just to test things out, let's replace this with edit task and save and reload. Okay, so now if I click this, we should see edit task. All right, you know what, guys? I actually uh, made a mistake in the route. I put to do ID, and this has, actually has to match the resource, which is task ID. 
All right, so let's save that. All right, so now if we click my first task, we get edit task. All right. Okay, so what we want to happen is just like when we click new task, we have this form open. We want that to happen with this as well. So let's go to our edit template and we're, actually let's go to the new template and we're going to copy everything that's in it and then just paste it in the edit because it's essentially the same all we need to do is change the uh, value attribute okay we actually want to change it to model dot title okay this one will be model dot date and then the description will be model dot description all right, so, uh, and one more thing, the action here, you see how we have the, the button action, add task. We're gonna change that to edit task. And then we also wanna pass the ID. All right, so we wanna say model.id. All right, so let's go ahead and reload that. And now if I click this, you can see we get that form, we get the title and the description pre-filled. If I click second, we get second. So that's exactly what we want. Now to take care of actually updating, we have to um, we have to create that edit task action in the controller. So if we go to controllers and then tasks edit.js, and let's actually copy what we have in the new. Okay, so we have our actions add task let's just copy that okay we'll put that right here and we just want to change this to edit task and let's see it's going to take in our ID and title except this we're going to get from model.title this one will be model uh, model dot description and model dot date all right and then instead of this actually let's just get rid of that okay so first thing we need to find the record so we'll say this dot store oops this dot store dot find record and let's see, we want to put in our task model and find by the ID and this shouldn't have a dollar sign. Okay, and then we're gonna tack on to this dot then and this is where we're gonna put our function. All right, and it's gonna pass in the task as a uh, attribute or a parameter. Okay, and then we can do task.set and we're going to want to set title to title. Uh, description date and that's going to be new date and then we'll pass in the date variable all right and then same thing we're going to save just like we did here except this time it's just going to be uh, actually you know what this needs to go inside of there so I'm going to copy I'm going to just um, copy that get rid of it and we're going to get rid of this Okay, and then inside here, we're gonna say task.save. All right, and then I want to just redirect us. I want the close, to, um, the close to form. I want the form to close. So to do that, um, we're actually gonna go up here and we're gonna create a variable called self and set that to this. All right, that way down here, we can say self.save transition to which is 
is a, uh, it's just a method to do a redirect. And we want to go to tasks. All right, so that looks good. Let's save it. Okay, reload. All right, so now if we go to my first task, uh, let's change the title. We'll change the first to 1st, and we'll change this as well. Okay, and then the date, submit, and there it is, my first task. You can see that that changed as well. So now we, can, we have full edit functionality. So the last thing I want to do in this video is we want to be able to delete these as well. All right, so let's go to, let me close all these. We just want this, our tasks view or task template. And let's put a delete link. Uh, let's just, we'll say link. Um, actually, no, I want to, let's do a button. So button, and then we're going to give it an action of delete task and we need to pass the ID. So we're going to say uh, task.id. Okay, that's our button. Let's also give it a class of btn and btn-danger, which will make it red. Let's say delete. Okay, so now we need to create the delete action, and that's going to be in the tasks.js controller, okay, which we haven't added anything to yet. So actions, and this is delete task. Okay, that's going to be passed in an ID. And we're going to say this dot store dot find record task pass in the ID and then we're going to do dot then function will take in task and let's see now we're going to do task dot delete record and then we need to save all right and yeah i think that's it we don't need to redirect since we're already on the, the task page so let's try that out Okay, so I'll go delete, and there it goes. Make sure it stays gone, and it's gone. If we look at the database, you can see we only have one in there. All right, so we now have a full CRUD application. We can create, read, update, and delete. Now I may make another video, or possibly two, um, so we can implement so things, something like sorting, and um, search, filter, things like that. All right, so. Uh, that's it for now, and thanks for watching. If you like the series, if you like the videos, please leave a like or a comment or subscribe, whatever you guys can do. All right, I appreciate it.